Hey filmmakers, Jonathan with Soundstripe here. Today I'm super Jay excited. Frazier, can you take my picture? Dude, what are you doing? I'm at the air balloon. Yeah. Right, take my picture real quick. It'll take what? two seconds. What? We're supposed to be doing this. Yeah, but I know, but we're here. Come on. It's two seconds. This Ready? This is, what are you going to do? All right. Perfect, I got it. Did you just take your own picture? Yeah, let's go. Oh, you let's animal. Hey filmmakers, Jonathan with Soundstripe here. Today, I'm super excited to have you along as we show you how to shoot an interview with some cinematic tips so you can take an average office space like this and make a super cool looking something like this. To help me do that today, I got my friend and colleague Chris Haggerty here. Chris, what how up, are dude? you? Good. Just another day, man. Another, another day, day we get to shoot. Whether it's for a corporate job or documentary or commercial, whatever the case, you're gonna shoot an interview at some point. Absolutely. And you're probably gonna have to shoot it in a space that you didn't get to pick, uh, that you didn't get, that you don't have total control of, and you still gotta make something look good. Yeah, listen, I mean, we've all been there, right? We've been to the corporate office space with fluorescent lighting and no decorations, just a bunch of desks, and it's terrible. And you have to figure out, as a filmmaker, how on earth am I gonna shoot a cinematic looking interview here. All right friends, before we go any further, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on those notifications so you're always aware when new content like this drops. So we're actually at Soundstripe's offices today. Uh, we've got a couple different offices. This is one of the first ones, uh, and there's currently really not much in it, which is gonna make it even more challenging. That's right. Um, but I know you're stoked, so let's go check it out and find where we're gonna set up. All right, man. Look, we made it. Hey. All right. So, this first room, right at the top of the stairs. Uh, it's now the conference room. Fun fact, it used to be where first musicians for Soundstripe were actually recording and working out of. So this is a pretty generic looking conference room. Tell me what you like, what you don't like about this space. We have windows, which is great because a lot of the times you're in an office with no windows to be seen. Like I said, a bunch of ugly fluorescent lighting. So this gives us something that we can motivate our sources from. So if we have our interview subject here and we put a light in here, it'll look like it's potentially coming from these windows. So it looks a little bit more cinematic, looks a little bit more real. It's not too big. Um, you know, I feel like we can probably play around in here and make something look pretty decent. Okay, so it's a decent option. Yeah. All right, let's go see what else we got. Cool. Hey. All right. So this is kind of the big common area. I see lots of big windows. Got a little kitchenette area behind us, some desk kind of co-working space. What do you like, what do you not like about this space? So one of the things immediately that stands out is it's a big space. So you have a lot to work with, which is great. You also have a lot of natural light coming in, which can be a really good thing. It can also be a really difficult thing, right? Um, on one hand, you have a lot of natural, beautiful light coming in. On the other hand, if you're doing an hour long interview, and especially in Nashville, as we all know, the weather changes minute by minute, uh, it, in fact, it was overcast just a minute ago, now we've got sunlight streaming right in. So that's something that you're gonna have to think about and, and potentially battle. It's also a lot of room that you're gonna have to try to deck and make look nice. So it's kind of got some okay, goods some, and some bads. Okay, some pros and cons. Yeah. Goods and bads, as you say. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, so this space is a little smaller than anything else we've looked at. There's a lot of stuff. It's kind of like a storage room right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But it's a controlled lighting area, right? Yeah, it's a little tight. I mean, even just standing in here, it's like I can hear the echo from my own voice. So I think sound immediately would be an issue in this space. It's also very small, trying to get fit uh, light sources in here is gonna be a, a difficulty that we'd have to overcome. We do have this fake window, which could potentially be a, a good thing. We could put sources out behind it, make it look like it's a real window. But overall, this would be, I'd say, a very difficult space. Okay. We do have a Christmas tree, so. That's, that's I jolly. Mean, that is jolly. <laughs> <laughs> the first step in getting a cinematic interview is making sure you got the best location you possibly can, given what you're dealt. Yeah. Sounds like, from walking around, the first place we looked at a conference room is gonna be our best bet for today, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think it had a really good mix of natural light, uh, but a manageable size space. 
We're not gonna be battling sunlight. I think that's our best bet. All right, man, let's go do it. Let's do it. Next step, right camera for the job. Yeah, I mean, like they say, right? It's like the, the best camera is the one you've got. But today, we've got a good one. We're shooting on the Airsa Mini Pro G2, and we've just got some Zeiss photo primes that have been cinevised, so we've got declicked apertures and stuff like that. Nice, and what focal length are we shooting on? So we're on the 35. Uh, we decided to choose that because uh, it, it's a really, really good uh, mid-range focal length, right? You're not too uh, telephoto, where you feel like it's a, uh, you know, you're spying in on a conversation that's kind of happening. Mm -hmm. but you're also not so wide that you're in the inner, the subject's face, which can kind of feel a little bit, uh, put them in an uncomfortable situation yeah, with this camera. Jarring. Yeah, and it feels like this camera's stuck on their face and kind of makes them feel uncomfortable. Picked our room, we got our camera. Where are you thinking we're gonna put our interviewee? Well, I'm thinking they're probably gonna be right where this table is. So okay. I think probably next thing is let's get rid of this table and get someone in and take a look at how we're, how we're doing. Julian, social ambassador at Soundstripe, a colleague and friend of ours. Julian is no stranger to being in front of the camera. Uh, he's done a number of regional and national spots, actually, so he's a really talented actor. And so he's gonna be sitting in with us today and being our interviewee. Awesome. So, Julian, you want us to take a seat? We're gonna start cool. looking at our frame. What we need to decide is where do we want his eye line to be? Is he gonna be looking directly into camera? Or is he gonna be looking kind of offside? Do you have something in mind for that? Yeah, so this is an important step, right? To, getting what you want out of your interview is what's the intent, what's the style? And so I think for this one, I wanna do a really classic interview, put him on the third, talking off camera. Um, you know, sometimes we go straight into camera, but that's more like speaking to a direct audience where this is gonna be a bit more informational and casual. So I think just go with that classic arrangement is gonna be really nice for this. Okay, great, let's do it. got your two window sources mm -hmm. so we can kind of key off of those windows make it look like there's a window that's lighting him we've got our little credenza kind of down in the background here we've got the painting on the wall um, so now I think it's just a matter of positioning some of that stuff to be a little bit more pleasing next step is we're looking in the frame and how can we take what already exists and really elevate it to make it stand out more help draw attention to our subject but also make it feel more warm and like we're in an inviting space. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. My name's Renee and I am a producer and art director and when we're working in a space like this, I like to bring in a lot of greenery because it just livens up a space. It's usually around where you are anyway. Offices and homes always have plants and stuff like that. So you can just kind of arrange what you have. This little plant right here. And you kind of just put it in the background just to give it some texture and some color. Basically just scavenging the entire office and taking whatever I want. Add a practical end for some warmth in the background. There's no ball in there. <laughs> All right, so I feel like this is looking really good. What do you guys think? Yeah, I feel like it really came together. The plants brought in some warmth and we found a few photos around the office that we were able to, we didn't have to attach them to the wall, we just leaned them up so they aren't causing any damage, but they're also adding some interest. So yeah, and I definitely feel like we turned this from a very uh, basic generic conference room mm -hmm. to feeling like we could be in a common space or yeah. somebody's office mm -hmm. or something that just has a lot more warmth to it by bringing in all the different elements. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling okay. really good about it. Yeah, yeah. me too. Thanks, right. Renee. Yeah, you're welcome. Looks great. Thanks, guys. Next important step, lighting. Right? That's it's right. gonna make a huge difference in how this frame changes. So what are you thinking here? So I am thinking we're gonna probably have a couple of HMIs outside, one outside each of these windows. <laughs> With a little bit of haze, you'll hopefully get some of that kind of like sunbeam looking in. Big key source, we're gonna have an Aperture 300D with a seven foot octobox that we have for it. We're gonna put a black solid uh, cloth up against the wall on the right side of frame. So a little bit more shape. Okay, let's do it. Well, we've changed the frame a lot. Uh, tell us about some of the decisions you made and why. 
Yeah, so uh, probably the, the biggest uh, change that we made was bringing in HMI lighting. That uh, So we have one HMI coming in each of the windows, uh, and that's kind of what emulates l uh, sunlight coming in. So it kind of gives some consistency to your shot. So as the sun moves throughout the day, you always have those. Next, we had our uh, big key light source, a big soft source, looks really pleasing on the face. We have a hair light that adds kind of some texture to the hair, so it doesn't kind of look like all just one big shape and blob of color. Uh, then we had added uh, some solids. Uh, these fabrics add the shadow that you see mm -hmm. on the subject's face. Uh, and then we kind of had some salt and pepper where we added this uh, uh, nanlite tube on the ground that's giving us a little bit of warmth on the credenza. And then we have a daylight tube on the ground that's splashing uh, up on the wall. We're using a key light, we're trying to bring in some separation, and we're trying to create texture that draws the viewer's eye to the person being interviewed, which is most important, but in a way that we're not having any distractions happening off camera. Absolutely, that's what every step along the way, that, that's the goal is, whether it was the art or the lighting or the position of your camera or what's in the background, all of it is designed um, with the goal in mind of drawing the viewer's attention to your subject. I think for shooting in a place where you were not excited about shooting, <laughs> you did a really great job and we came out with a really nice final image. I, I agree, I'm really, really happy with it, it turned out. There you have it, some cinematic tips on how to shoot an interview and take a kind of drab, generic place and turn it into this really pleasing, really cool image. Let us know in the comments your biggest takeaway and we're gonna choose someone to win a year of free soundtrack from it. Let's get out of here, time to break all this stuff down. Let's go get some food. All right, let's do it. Was that in camera? <laughs> I went like this. <laughs>